Energy efficient physical separation on an industrial scale relies on controlling the porosity and thickness of the selective layer. The separation performance depends on the size, distribution and connectivity of the voids, or free volume, within the membrane. Maximising the amount of interconnected voids is crucial, but challenging. Amorphous polymers as membrane materials are not only economical, but offer a variety of cavity sizes and topologies, in contrast to rigid microporous materials such as zeolites and metal organic frameworks. For the first time, a membrane composed exclusively of cyclodextrin is described by Luis Francisco Villalobos, T. Fan Huang and Klaus Victor Peinemann from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia in their recent communication in Advanced Materials. Cyclodextrin-based polymers are appealing because cyclodextrin is intrinsically porous, non-toxic and derived from starch, making the process environmentally friendly. The team used beta-cyclodextrin and an acid chloride to obtain thin films of beta-cyclodextrin on top of a commercial polyacrylonitrile PAN, support through interfacial polymerization. The idea of using container-shaped molecules as the main building block for the membrane selective layer is a powerful and promising strategy. It gives us certain control over the free volume elements within the polymer matrix. The film morphology was found to be greatly pH dependent. Fast hydrolysis at high pH formed crumpled films, whereas hydrolysis at lower pH produced smooth, flat films. X-ray photoelectron spectra and infrared spectra of the crumpled film indicated an asymmetric structure with different amounts of cross-linking. Microscopy characterizations revealed varying thickness of the crumpled beta-cyclodextrin film's internal structure, but this did not inhibit the transport of solvents, which could quickly permeate the membrane. In fact, crumpled films demonstrated up to 47 times higher solvent permeance than the flat, uniformly dense films. A greater surface area and a greater extent of ester hydrolysis result in more open pathways in between the cyclodextrin molecules and thus easier access to the cavity. The crumpled film can withstand even 20 bar pressure and several aspirations through a pipette, but long-term operation results in decreased permeance. Both non-polar and polar solvents move through the beta-cyclodextrin membrane at high rates and the membrane can effectively discriminate between molecules having similar molecular weight and size, but different shapes, thereby outperforming commercial alternatives. Although we focused our work on beta-cyclodextrin, similar films can be made with uh, other cyclodextrins. We hope our work will inspire the use of cyclodextrins and other cavitins for the preparation of highly selective novel membranes. To find out more, please visit the Advanced Materials homepage in the Wiley Online Library.